I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 10th of December. Cold is the word today, and the weekend looks wet. And the big question is, will there be any icing problems early Saturday morning? Let's talk and look out the window. I know we're going to have a great sunset this evening when you see a sky like that. That's the uh, Birmingham sky cam looking back to the southeast from the top of the Daniel Building. Those are clouds up at about 20,000 feet. And I bet you that you, they're going to give the sky an amazing texture about 445 when the sun is going down. Very similar sky coming from Gadsden. That's looking east. And from Starkville, Mississippi, that's our sky cam at the uh, Comfort Suites looking back over toward uh, Scott Field and the Mississippi State campus. There's the big picture, cold trough over much of the nation. And uh, active southern stream, you can see that subtropical jet pushing in from Mexico and the Pacific. Yeah, it's cold. Uh, at uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon, it looks like Chicago is sitting at 7 degrees. Uh, Milwaukee at 7. Uh, some cities up in Minnesota are as cold as 6 below zero at mid-afternoon. Makes you wonder what January is going to be like. Uh, numbers around our state, yeah, they're colder than what the Moss was trying to tell us. You know, we said yesterday some of the cities north of Birmingham might have a hard time getting out of the 30s, and by golly, they're not going to get out of the 30s. Coleman 37, the same for Haleyville. Gadsden, 39. Those are 2 o'clock numbers. Uh, Birmingham at 43. And you can bet it's going to be a cold night tonight with temperatures dropping quickly with this clear sky and diminishing wind. And again, the watch warning map is definitely quieter, although lake effect snows are still cranking up over parts of Michigan. A blizzard warning, in effect, for some of the lake, uh, lake effect snow bands up there. But again, uh, much of the nation relatively quiet. Precipitation for the next five days. Uh, look at California, awfully wet. And down this way, we've got uh, rainfall amounts of three inches. That's the bullseye south of Meridian, down toward Waynesboro, Mississippi. And around here looks like uh, one to one and a half inches, if this is right. And a lot of that's going to come down this weekend. This, by the way, valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Let's look at the modeling. This is the 12Z GFS at uh, 12 noon tomorrow. This is at 500 millibars. Cold trough continues. Active southern branch down below. Cold and dry, but clouds will be increasing tomorrow afternoon. I think the day, though, we'll call it partly sunny, uh, pretty much like today. Cold and dry. But you can see that next impulse producing rain back in the western Gulf. And uh, midday Saturday, we go wet. And, of course, as we have discussed in recent days, the there's a little narrow window where we could see some uh, maybe light freezing rain. It depends on when it all starts. Let's look at the uh, GFS at 6 o'clock Saturday morning. The 1320 thickness line, and again, this is the low-level critical thickness, 1,000 to 850 millibars, is sitting right around Birmingham, and the rain is primarily south of there. But again, if it begins at 6 o'clock Saturday morning, I think the surface temperature should be close to 30, 31, or 32, a little bit of evaporative cooling, and that could mean some bridge icing. So just be aware of that. And It looks like the Interstate 20 corridor might be the issue. I don't think it'll be a widespread problem or a long-lasting problem. Just be aware of that. And the NAM... Uh, very similar, uh, almost identical, quite frankly. Maybe the rain a little bit farther to the south. But just be aware of that possibility. But again, Saturday looks cold and wet. Sunday, the GFS kind of keeps the moisture in place. It looks like rain could linger into at least a part of the day Sunday. But it should be warmer with uh, highs back up in the 50s. Monday of next week, really nothing to scour out that moist air. Uh, so it looks like Monday will be mostly cloudy. For now, we have not mentioned any chance of rain, but Tuesday will better mention a chance of rain because here comes the next trough. And down below that, a pretty good-looking uh, band of rain passing through, maybe even some thunder involved in that. And that could bring us one-half to one inch of rain. And then Wednesday of next week, cold and dry, as a new surge of cold air coming off the snowpack comes down. Thursday of next week, even colder. Look at the 540 line down to... Montgomery, that might be a day with a high only of about 40, a bit colder than today. And let's just go way out there. What do you say? Let's look at uh, Christmas Day, December 25th. Ooh, big trough off to the west, cold air in place, storm in the Gulf. Could it be the year? I don't know. Odds are always small. Even in the, Look, this is probably the best pattern we'll ever see for a white Christmas, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. 
but that does suggest a storm coming out of the Gulf, staying pretty far south. That just looks cold and dry on Christmas Day. And this is absolute voodoo. I want to make that perfectly clear. And the next day, the 26th, which is the last day of the forecast, the trough is even deeper, the cold air deeper. And you can see why we are thinking that the rest of this month will be much colder than average. And with the active southern branch, we figure there might be a little bit of winter weather mischief along the way. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you are local to us, we invite you to watch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.